Alright, awesome. Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be a new After Effects tutorial showing you how to motion track. It's going to be simple, it's going to be basic, so let's get started. Alright guys, now that we're in After Effects, we're going to start off by creating a new composition. You can either click this button down here, or you can go up to Composition, New Composition. Now in this area, name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it AE Motion Tracking. Now down here, create it 920 by 1080. Keep everything the same, 30 frames per second. And this time code duration area is going to be how long your song or your video is going to be. I'm going to make that 20 seconds. So as you can see, it's in a time code thing and it's not in frames. Just click OK. If you don't see that it's in time code or frames, go to File, Project Settings, and up here, change it to time code instead of frames. That way, you can kind of see it in seconds. So by that, I mean, you can see that this is one second, two second, three second, and then you can zoom in and see the, each individual frame. I really enjoy that. It's easy to make editing, or simpler, I guess you could say. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a video that I have, and you, this will all be linked in the description below. It links to my website, so uh, I'll show you that real quick. On my website right here, I have a tutorials tab, and it'll pretty much have all the files for the thing, so you can click on whatever tutorial you are doing and then you can download them like so but we'll get to that later all right so the video that i have is this simple eye video and i'll play that real quick it's literally just my eye and uh we're gonna track this so that you can add text you can add hud elements you can do whatever you want honestly but uh i think it's about 20 seconds long so drag that into your project over in the project manager and you see on this thing, just drag it down into your composition. So now what we want to do is we want to track this eye. And the thing with motion tracking, it can get very difficult. And what I mean by that is that sometimes your track won't be the best track. But good thing about this video is it's well lit and it's fine to track. So change your workspace area to motion tracking. Now you see this tracker dialog box. Drag your playhead to the start of your video so you can pick a spot to track from. What we want to do is select the motion source and change it to the My Eye video because that's what we want to track. Now, right now, our current track is nothing because we want to um, select the video and then go to Track Motion. You can also use this feature to do like um, a warp stabilizer or stabilize the motion, but we'll get into that later if you want to know. So click on Track Motion and then you come up with this track point. You can zoom in by using the scroll wheel and now click and drag this track point over to where you want to go. So we have to look at this eye and see where it would be a good place to track. A good track point would be somewhere where it, that doesn't move a lot. Like in the eye right here, that might be a good spot, but when I blink, it's going to move. So luckily, I have a zit on my face right here, if you can't see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out there until I like get it over it. And cool thing about these guys is it uses like extra track points. Um, and these squares, you can resize them to uh, make your track point that much more effective. So just drag that into the center. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And that looks good. So what I normally do is I'll start. Um, oh, I, I forgot to drag this. Make sure you drag your playhead all the way to the, the start of your video. Otherwise, your track will be off. And drag that on top of there. And that looks good. So now what I normally do is I click this Analyze Forward button. And then I watch it. So as you can see, this is fairly decently tracking it. Sometimes it'll mess up a lot. And then if that does, sometimes you have to go frame by frame, and that's what the next button is. Um, but basically, we're going to sit through this, let it do its thing, and I'll come back to you guys. Alright, as you can see, the tracker is still going past 20 seconds, because our composition is only 20 seconds. Only for the mere fact that our video is a little bit longer than 20 seconds. All right, so now that that track is done, it looked like a pretty successful track. As you can see, all these like little tracker points. And uh, you can get in the complex thing if you look down here and you go to motion trackers. Look at the tracker. You can actually see all the individual track points. So can you imagine keyframing all of those? That would take forever. All right, but since that is done, what we need to do is right-click in your composition, click on New, and then Null Object. We're going to name this Null Object by right-clicking Rename. We're going to name it Tracker Data. And what this is, is this is going to be a null object point that we're going to apply all these tracker points to. So over in your tracker area, make sure your motion source is clicked on the eye, and then click on Edit Target. Make sure the layer Tracker Data is selected, and then all you have to do is click Apply. And then we want to apply the dimensions X and Y, 
so it goes up and down and side to side and now we know that we have a null object on our tracker point so you can watch that by just clicking play and you see this little red dot it pretty much follows that zit around fairly decently right so now what we can do this is your tracker da tracker data and you can create um, any text or anything and attach it to that tracker data to basically have a motion track text layer on there so we're gonna create a new horizontal type text tool and then say my I guess we could say my eye my eye so that looks great I'm not gonna worry about font or anything and then all you have to do is take this little squiggly and link it to the tracker data or you can click on this and then link it to tracker data to create it a parent so now whenever this video is playing through um, the eye will track along with our or my eye will track along with everything now it isn't a foolproof method you're gonna have to go in and adjust everything but it's pretty basic like if we want to drag this um, out here and then make it dark it might look a little bit better so yeah it's pretty cool so like imagine if someone's walking you could do something like that so this is literally just the basics of motion tracking if you guys want to know how to do a more complex method of mo motion tracking involving like masking out your eye and doing HD elements just let me know in the comment section below glad you enjoyed this tutorial I told you it was gonna be simple and quick give that subscribe button a click if you liked what you saw thanks guys